Yeah. I am currently job hunting. <laughs> What I came to do, I did not achieve the hiring marriage manager is not around. I don't think I can work there. Let's start with that. It's too far. Here's my work and here's my notes. Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and today is my first day of school and I know that it doesn't make sense to get that in a sentence. But basically, my school decided to do the orientation on a Sunday, which makes no sense to me. No sense. <laughs> but we're going to do it. So, I'm in a hurry, see. I woke up early, but for whatever reason, I'm already late. I don't even know how that happened. I have to eat. Because it's only lunch and dinner they are serving. And the orientation is like from 10.30 a.m. to like 5. I cannot go that long without food. So, I have to find something to eat. I have a lot of things to do. Now, and I have very limited time. So, I don't know, I'm still talking. I'll see you guys when I'm done dressing. <laughs> so now I need to find something to eat because, like I said, I can't wait for lunch. So I got croissants, that was like two days ago. So let's go and set it up for eating. I feel like that's like the fastest food I can get right now. So let's go. I see what I have, I have to face this morning. It's crazy, like the snow is so thick. I'm not even ready to think about that. These are the croissants. I'm just going to heat them up really quick. But this is my tea mug. I'm done eating and done dressing and this is what we look like my next bus is for um 10 22 i'm going to take normally it takes like three minutes to get to the bus stop <clears throat> but with the amount of snow that is outside it's going to take me five to six minutes because i cannot run so i must not fall so like five to six let's say seven minutes and if the bus is for 10 22 you have to get there at least 10 17 because <laughs> the day that you do not expect it is the day that the bus will come early and leave you and then you'll be left hanging and another bus will not come for another long time so i have to go like now i know i woke up to see minus seven degrees but i did not expect this amount of snow what happened bro see hi yala please don't fall down <laughs> that's my prayer now I'm currently waiting for the bus now. I think I'm five minutes early. I forgot to oil my hands and a bunny in my chest before leaving the house. Hi. Hi. Are you a test your sleep? What cost? What cost? I mean, I'm in computer science. But you're here for the orientation. So for the orientation, they put us all in this big hall where they touched on different topics like academic advising and some other things for students. And then they served us lunch. I could not eat that green one at all, but I managed the white one. And this was me just filming around, but the uni tour is coming up after this video. After our lunch, we had the next segment. They talked about, about gender-based violence, sexual violence. This consent that trend was actually very interesting. Everybody was just laughing. Imagine them saying, if you want to hook up, ask the person, can I hook up with you? <laughs> <laughs> I beg, I beg. They also talked about health and insurance benefits that we have as international students and then working in Canada and all of that. And this really cute guy came and took this topic on exploring around. Boy, I want to explore with you. And then our dinner was pizza. Are we still going to walk around? Let's go. Um, yeah, let's go. My roommates are actually going grocery shopping. So I'm just going to call them and take me with them. Okay. So I can get like binder and stuff. But I don't, I don't think they're going to be leaving soon. So let's see. Is there a Walmart close to where you are? Uh, no, we just go to the Shimon one. Hello? Okay. I just got back from orientation. I had quite a long day. I, I also had to branch at like the mall, um, the Larana, after to get some book stuff. This is what I brought back from school and I'm just going to quickly unbox it. So it contains what I got at the Larama. The Larama and what they gave me at school for the orientation so i'm just going to unbox it this is like a file that i got for school and then i got this this is um 
also for school so i'm just going to i got this notes paper so this is what i'm going to use to jot or maybe when i'm reading and then i'll just put it inside the, this file so you just open it put it inside and then close it back so it's to contain all my stuff book normal booklet it, comes, it has five pages so it's also for a class this they gave me at school i think this is my favorite thing that i was given because like i mean thank you i got this also just this one the couple of leaflets what is the meaning of all this uh -uh, i said they wanted to dispose it okay i think this one is useful it's like a book i made friends today i made a lot of friends today i'm shocked but there's one thing i've noticed about myself if i am going out like i'm going out going out my brain automatically tunes into my extroverted mode and i'm not even joking like because as soon as i got to the bus stop today and then i saw people standing there i was just like oh are you guys going to train uh, are you new students are you first time still like i didn't even know when i started asking them questions and like trying to start up a conversation to talk to them i don't know if it's loneliness that is working or if it's just that it just happens so because of that i mean i made friends i'm shocked too but then um but every other day my brain is just like nah introvert introvert <laughs> hi guys good morning so i am literally running to the bus stop right now i had to rush out of the house in front too <laughs> long story i just dropped the course and picked up another one not because it was more convenient but because i kind of like the course <laughs> i like the course so i i mean and i'm on this story long so I, I figured i was rambling in all these places so let me explain properly i already took all my main courses for the course i'm taking and then there was room for elective so the elective i took was a course under business administration and it was an online course basically my monday was meant to be free and then it you know allowed my timetable to make sense for me to now try and start this course and see that i have to buy one textbook so second where is the money for that one without the money i'm paying for school fees i'll be buying textbook again Motaka, i dropped the course immediately and took one other course in integrated art which is actually related to theater art so i was actually very excited to take the course because you know theater girl actor girly but now my monday cannot be free again i have to go to school every day of the week and it was a fiscal course so it was meant to stress me out but i'd rather take it i'm ready almost at the bus stop i'm praying that the bus will not come before i cross because these canadian drivers don't care so bye guys hi guys so i know it's very dark i promise you it's just like 5 30 to 6. i don't know what is wrong with their weather but i am currently job hunting <laughs> which is funny to me because ah, buddy is job hunting <laughs> Buddy in the mud, but yeah, all right. I just printed out my resumes for like serving jobs, and now I'm just going to find as many uh restaurants that are around. Oh, there are restaurants, you see Domino's, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to find as many restaurants that are around, and I'm going to submit. So let's go. <laughs> ah, it's actually so dark. I mean, what happened in the what, world? Exactly. It's just so sad. Oh, works. Hire me. <laughs> this is what we are eating. I haven't had anything today, so I decided to get McDonald's. Yay! Their Big Mac is not so big, so I must say so myself. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. When you see your fellow Indians, do you ever just feel like saying hi? <laughs> Are you scared? Some I think it's the same with Nigerians here. I remember. I think Nigerians are going to like friendly. No. No, I don't think so. Yes, yes, I somebody that he 
even if he has a job, he's not willing to give it to anybody that's Yoruba. And he's a Nigerian, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said like Yoruba people have done him dirty. Yeah. So he's not willing to recommend anybody that's Yoruba. It has happened to him twice. Ah, Nigerian scam. Just pray that you meet the good ones, honestly. Between like us fellow Nigerians, they know what they're doing. It's sad. It's really sad. Hi guys, good morning. It's Thursday already. I did not vlog throughout yesterday and I promise I have a good explanation for that. But right now I'm going job hunting again. And this time I'm going to like a warehouse company. <coughs> and I'm hoping that it goes well. But y'all, this place is far. What? This place is actually so far. Like, imagine just walking to the company and you're already asking yourself if you can walk there. Like, you're going to apply and you're already asking yourself, can I even walk here? Can I? Can I walk this distance every day? I don't think I can. <laughs> I'm already thinking of buying a bicycle. <laughs> Yo, this is not funny. And it's so freezing cold today. The snow is like 10 centimeters thick. Uh, the hustle is real. The hustle is real. <laughs> snowing heavily like you can see all over my face and my body which makes no sense because what i came to do i did not achieve the higher married manager is not around i don't think i can work there let's start with that it's too far but then the higher manager was not around i wasn't able to talk to anybody i just dropped off my resume and i tell you just dropping off your resume is as good as useless there and the fact that i walked this distance for that and i'm going back and now it's snowing terribly. <coughs> and I have a, I have a class, so I have to go to school. And I've not eaten, and I'm hungry. And I have to go through all of this, and for what? And for what? <laughs> I was literally crying like five minutes ago, but let's not talk about it. <laughs> I miss my boss because of this stupid ass drama zebra crossing that doesn't favor past like people that are walking. It only favors the cars. The cars are moving for five minutes straight, and if you're walking, you just get 30 seconds out of that five minutes. So every five minutes is when you get to cross. This makes no sense to me. And so I like I, I looked at my boss right in the eye and I missed it because I wasn't allowed to cross. And that was the boss that was going to be on me because that boss would take me home and from home I will then go back to school and then I'll be able to eat. But I missed it. Now the next bus is is in uh, like 20, 30 minutes. So I can't even go home to eat again. I have to go straight to school. And I'm hungry and I'm freezing cold. My hand is already shocking me and I'm scared of getting frostbite. But thank God I did not feel myself crying because that it wasn't messy. I did not even care that I was like at the middle of the road I was crying. But yeah, at least I took advantage of the situation. I just entered like this McDonald's behind me. And I went to drop off my resume. So I'm hoping I'm praying to God that they call me back because I think they're actually hiring. But yes, yeah, so now I'm waiting for the bus. Ah. Today has been a lot. So in school, there was an International Students New Year celebration. That paper basically was them asking us to make friends and finding people who have things in common with us. And then this was when we were lining up for food. And then by the time the food we eventually come see, just I couldn't even eat anything, nothing at all. And would you believe that at, on the way home, I entered the wrong bus again? Like, I just needed that day to end really quickly, honestly. Hi guys, good morning. Um, I look cute today, <laughs> but I am waiting for the bus. I already went to class. I came back from class, and now <laughs> I'm going back home. I'm supposed to have another 
past by 4 p.m. today, but it was cancelled, so... So I just finished eating and watching movie, Ura, and scrolling through social media, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> I almost got distracted for a little bit, but right now I'm just about to start reading. So here's my work, and here's my notes, and uh, my highlighter and all of that. So I know it's the first week of school, we haven't even had any course on this one. Like. We've not had any course, I'm just like reading ahead of the lecture. I promise you it's not because I'm less busy because I actually have um video to edit which I'm going to do right after this and a lot of other things to do. A lot of things like my head is full. I've not had time for myself. You can see what I look like. But I cannot be paying the amount I'm paying for school fees and not be serious. <laughs> I cannot be paying that school fees and not be more serious than my lecturer. And by the way, this particular course, the guy said that in our first class next week, we're going to be having a quiz. <laughs> Never in my life would I have done this in Nigeria, but let's not talk about that. So, yeah, I'm about to read, so don't distract me, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the weirdest things always happen in this country for real, because tell me why it's finished snowing so heavily that, like, I'm sure this snow is up to 30 centimeters thick, eh? And then this is currently 11.30 p.m. Like in the night, midnight. And see the way everywhere is bright. Bro, see. See outside. It looks like it's 6 a.m. in the morning. And see the way everywhere is bright. I'm trying to understand what is happening. This place is just a very crazy place. A very crazy place. Thank <laughs> you.